my name is Bethany Ray, and I am a teaching artist with Meta Arts, a nonprofit art organization located in Twist, Washington. And today I'm going to teach you all how to make these little watercolor mittens uh, based on simple line and shape. So for this art project, what you're going to need is, first of all, watercolor paper, um, some pastels or crayons, watercolor paint, um, a pencil, a brush, water, and a paper towel, and then also a little like mitten um, stencil that you can create on your own. You can um, draw it just on a stiff piece of paper. For this, you might wanna have your mom or dad or maybe older brother or sister help you create this little stencil and then cut it out. And that way we can do our design with this little stencil. So go ahead and pause the video, take a moment to collect all the supplies. And once, ha once you have everything in front of you, you can press play again. Okay, so the first step that you want to do is after you have your little uh, mitten stencil cut out, is you're going to put the mitten over to the left on a pretty large sheet of watercolor paper. And if you look at my hands, my thumbs are pointed on the inside. So make sure that your mitten isn't, the thumb isn't on the outside, but rather that the thumb is facing towards the inside. So once you have that stencil on the left side here, you're gonna hold down with one hand, and then with your other hand, you're gonna trace all the way around the mitten. You might have to stop and kind of move your hand a little bit. There you go, so you can go all the way around. Great, and now what we're gonna do is we are going to flip the mitten. So again, the thumb is towards the center, not on the outside, it's towards the center, because that's how our hands are. And you're going to trace all the way around. Again, just like you did with the other mitten. Awesome. So once you have that done, we can put our stencil over here. You're gonna draw three lines. So I'm gonna start here on the top and go one, two, and three. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing over on this mitten. I'm gonna go one, two, and three. So what we want to make sure that we do is just like here in my example, whatever design is on this mitten, we want to make sure that the other side matches. We want matching mittens. Okay, so each mitten is going to have three lines and then in each of those spaces, it's up to you, you get to decide what kind of shapes and what kind of lines you want. So in this example, I did circles here. And how many circles did I do in this first row? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So how many circles did I do on this side? That's right, four. One, two, three, four. So whatever you do on one mitten, you're going to do on the other mitten. I'm going to mix it up. I think I'm going to do some triangles. So I'm going to put a triangle here, and a triangle here, and a triangle here. So how many triangles do I have? One, two, three. So how many triangles am I gonna put over on this mitten? That's right, we're gonna put three. So one, two, and three. So we've got some shapes. Let's do some lines. I think I'm gonna do some swirly lines. Or rather, maybe these are a little more like, kind of like wavy lines, there we go. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So that way we have matching mittens. Okay, I'm gonna start on the thumb, go all the way across. And I think I like these snowflakes that I did in my example. So I'm gonna do some of those. And these are lines that when combined, they create a snowflake shape. Okay, and let's do four. So I did one, two, three, four. So that means I need four snowflakes 
on this side. Okay. And lastly, hmm, let's choose a different type of line down here. So I think I'm going to do some zigzag lines. So zigzag and zigzag over here. Okay, so now I have design, a design for my mittens, and each mitten matches the other mitten. What we're going to do next is we're going to color in those lines and shapes with either crayons or pastels. I have some uh, pastels, so that's what I'm going to use today. And I'm going to take a blue pastel for my triangle. What I find helps me when I'm coloring is I like to outline first. So I'm going to trace along the edges of the triangles and then fill them in. Now because I did blue triangles over here, I'm also going to do these triangles blue as well. Because remember, we are making matching mittens. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. So I'm outlining first and then filling it in. Outlining first, then filling it in. Okay, and let's see. Oh, what about my wavy lines down here? Maybe I'll do some, let's do some red. That'd be kind of fun. So I'm gonna go just trace along that side. So now you kind of get the idea. Whatever you end up doing on one side, you're gonna do on the other side. So you're welcome to go ahead and just pause the video and fill in your shapes and outline your lines. And then once you've done that, then we can come back together and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so once you filled in, you colored in the shapes how you want them and outlined all of your lines, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is take a black crayon. It doesn't need to be black. Um, it can just be another color. So if you want to outline in blue, that's fine. But I'm going to go ahead and trace along the edges of my mitten here. And I'm going to go all the way around. And then I'm also going to trace along those lines those three lines that we did in the beginning, just so those stand out as well. So all the way around. And what's gonna happen is after I'm done doing this, what that pastel and the crayon um, is going to do is it's gonna block the watercolor from going into those spaces. And that is called watercolor, or sorry, crayon resist. It's gonna push back the watercolor from going there. So now that I've done that, um, you can also pause the video and then um, do that part and then press play once you have that finished. And then we'll get started on the next step. So once you've outlined with black crayon or whatever color you ended up using, um, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to fill in our mittens with some watercolor. So hopefully you'll have your watercolor paint still nearby. I'm going to get my brush wet first. There you go. Swish it around the water. And I'm going to choose probably not blue, right, for the first part of my mitten because my triangles are already blue. So I'm going to think about choosing a different color. I'm going to choose, let's do some green. So I'm going to swish my brush around in the green watercolor. And you want to make sure that you're not smashing your brush. You're just kind of on the tip, very tip of your brush, moving it around. The trick with watercolor is that you're using more watercolor, or sorry, more water and less paint. Okay. And then same thing, just like a ballerina is on her tiptoes, you want to stay on the tiptoes of your brush. So no smashing the brush because we also got to make sure that we take care of our supplies by staying on the tiptoe. Now what you can see as I am painting with the watercolor is that the watercolor is not going in the spaces of the blue triangles. Again, that's called 
Fran resist when it's pushing back against that watercolor, saying, you can't go here. So I'm going to keep going. Remember, we're doing matching mittens. So if this is green, then the other mitten is going to be green. I'm going to wash out my brush before I get my next color. So this is red. I'm going to make sure to not choose red, just so that these beautiful red um, wavy lines show up. So I'm going to go ahead and use, I think I'm going to use some purple. It's probably best for this project to keep it nice and colorful to not use brown or black. A lot of times when you use brown or black and it accidentally bumps into one of the other colors, it ends up turning those colors brown or black as well. So I want to keep this art project nice and bright and colorful. So, so stay away from brown or uh, brown and black for this project. Okay. All right, I'm going around. Okay, I did purple here, so that means I'm going to do purple on the other side. And if it's getting hard for you to spread your watercolor, it just means that you need to add some more water to it. So if it's starting to look a little scratchy like that, it means you just need to put your brush back in the paint and keep spreading it around. There we go. So make sure to pause and put more water and paint on your brush if it's starting to get hard to spread it around or it looks scratchy. Okay. All right. So I think you know what to do at this point. So you can go ahead and fill in the rest of the sections on your own. Remember, whatever color you fill in over here on one mitten is going to be the same color that you fill on the other mitten. So you can go ahead and pause the video and finish up the painting the rest of your mittens and then I'll show you the very last step. Okay, so after you are done with filling in your mittens with watercolor, um, you're going to want to let it dry. It's probably going to take at least an hour to dry. So you put it put somewhere or just leave it where um, you were working on it and come back to it in an hour. And after that, then you can fill in the background. Now the background is really up to you. I filled in my background um, in this example just with uh, pastel. Um, so I did one color. Uh, if you want to do the same thing and you want to use more colors, that's fine. If you want to do a little scene in the background, maybe if you want to draw a little winter wonderland type scene, that's fine. If you want to use watercolor to do it, that's also fine. So I'm going to just leave the background totally up to you on what you want to do. Um, but other than that, you're all finished with this project. I hope you enjoyed uh, creating with me today these matching mittens, and I look forward to the next time that we make some art together. Bye for now.